Good morning. We're at 1 Samuel 14, verses 36 to 46. Here's what it says. Now Saul said, Let us go down after the Philistines by night and plunder them until the morning light, and let us not leave a man of them. And they said, Do whatever seems good to you. Then the priest said, Let us draw near to God here. So Saul asked counsel of God, Shall I go down after the Philistines? Will you deliver them into the hand of Israel? But he did not answer him that day. And Saul said, Come over here, all you chiefs of the people, and know and see what this sin was today. For as the Lord lives, who saves Israel, though it be in Jonathan my son, he shall surely die. But not a man among all the people answered him. Then he said to all Israel, You be on one side, and my son Jonathan and I will be on the other side. And the people said to Saul, Do what seems good to you. Therefore Saul said to the Lord God of Israel, Give a perfect lot. So Saul and Jonathan were taken, but the people escaped. And Saul said, Cast lots between my son Jonathan and me. So Jonathan was taken. Then Saul said to Jonathan, Tell me what you have done. And Jonathan told him and said, I only tasted a little honey with the end of the rod that was in my hand, so now I must die. Saul answered, God do so and more also, for you shall surely die, Jonathan. But the people said to Saul, Shall Jonathan die, who has accomplished this great deliverance in Israel? Certainly not. As the Lord lives, not one hair of his head shall fall to the ground, for he has worked with God this day. So the people rescued Jonathan, and he did not die. Then Saul returned from pursuing the Philistines, and the Philistines went to their own place. So we saw the other morning, Saul had made everybody go by this oath. Nobody's to eat food until sundown. And now he's going to have them, what, go all night long, go on and, and do more slaughter? They haven't had time. They, they were faint from lack of food, and now they gorge themselves. Now they're going to keep on fighting through the night. It's, 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 it doesn't seem like the best leadership. Each time, though, Saul says something, the people say, go ahead and do what's in your heart. You know, we're with you. We're with, yes, sir. Basically, they obey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But finally, they come down to this business, and we find that Jonathan was guilty of, of breaking the oath that Saul had put on there. And now he says, I now I have to die for this. And what does his father say to him? You will surely die. And at that point, the army said no. And they stood up and they said, absolutely not. Don't, don't touch, don't touch Jonathan. God has wrought a victory today through Jonathan. And so the people put their foot down and they said, no. They said to the king, you're wrong. And they just said, absolutely not. And that's what happened. That's what prevailed. Jonathan doesn't die. Jonathan lives. Not a good day for Saul. Just ridiculous. His son has, has been a man of faith. He's done things that have won them the battle. They've been fighting all through the day. And now he's going to stop and, and kill his son and, and, and then go out and, and do more slaughter all through the night. What, what's that? What's that? Anyway, human leaders, even the best human leaders, can make uh, remarkable, strange decisions. And I'm, I'm so glad that the people stood up here and finally said, uh uh, no, you're done. This isn't going to happen. And they stopped the king in his madness at that point. We need to pray that God will have people who will stand up when it has to be and stop leadership in its madness. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, sometimes people who are leading get become confused about what you want them to do for different reasons, whatever they are. Lord, Give the people courage. Help us to be faithful in your service to those who are leaders, but also, Lord, help us to recognize where we have to draw the line sometimes, as in this case. Help us to recognize that part of our duty sometimes is to draw the line and say, no, sir. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Lord, in Jesus' name we ask, amen. So, very interesting piece today. The king is put to the stop by the people. Good for the people. Good for the soldiers. And God be with you today in all that you do.